Alright, welcome back. Well, it seems like some of you don't really care for the GNOME version for OpenSUSE 13.1. It's okay, but uh, some of you really prefer uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon, like what you see here. Okay, fine. If that's the case, I'm done. I'll catch you guys later. No, I'm just kidding. Let's take a look at the KDE version of OpenSUSE 13.1. And I must say, I've been playing with this. I find this to be quite stable polished it just has the look and feel of a solid Linux distribution and if you are currently using Windows you might feel at home using something like this now a couple words here about KDE if you love shortcuts if you love widgets if you like adding stuff to your desktop if you like customizing then this is the one for you and I, I believe this to be one of the more user-friendly distributions if you are coming from say Windows 7 or Windows 8 all right, you have a shortcut here, desktop. Again, as I stated, you can add widgets. A bunch of widgets here at the bottom. Oh, if if you remember when you know Windows Vista came out, that you were able to add, you know, stuff to your desktop as in widgets, and uh, it's the same thing, same principle here. For example, analog clock, I can just drag that here desktop and of course I can change the size by holding this button here go down like this if you click the wrench here you can have other options such as show seconds hand it apply and okay I think I'll move that there of course you can right click on the desktop again you can add widgets if you wanted to add something else how about though let's see what shall we add here let's scroll here yeah, how about the calendar there and of course you can change the size of this let me get out of this first highlight that click the little box there hold it and I think I will put this right here in the middle this is one way to customize this type of desktop of course you have a bunch of shortcuts here I can you know move this around this is by default if I wanted to eliminate that I can just click the X of course, Firefox is installed by default. The K-Info Center, which will give you information about your computer. Something like a system monitor, summary, memory, and so on. All right, LibreOffice, online help. Definitely click that if you want more information. And don't forget to check the OpenSUSE.org website. All right, let's take a look at this some more. The bottom panel. Again, another shortcut, as I stated. And you can add widgets, spacer, more settings. Uh, one thing about this, you can change the height. Now that's really, really big, isn't it? I can move it down, or I can highlight screen edge. Go to the top. And there you go. My panel bar is now at the top, and I can move this here. Again, highly customizable. Moving along here on the panel, of course, time and date. Network management. Sound menu available devices clipper clipboard and updates uh, notifications including updates now very important if you are going to install this make sure you install all of the updates if you don't you won't be able to do stuff like play YouTube and media and stuff like that so install all of the updates all right moving along you can of course right click on a panel panel options again you can add the widgets again you can add another panel if you so want to or remove the panel don't remove the panel you will need it alright moving along to the left we have the dolphin file manager and again you have some various customizations here shortcuts on how to look at this including a little control panel here alright my two desktops my activities shortcut and the start button as I like to call it now if you are using Windows 7 in fact if you don't care for the look of Windows 8 you might like prefer this over Windows 8 because this somewhat looks like Windows 7 doesn't it favorites applications computer recently used leave as in shut down or restart a nice search button here at the bottom another nice thing here if you right click you can switch to the classic menu style and you might prefer the look of this. This is more Windows oh, 2000 XP issue. And you may like this. It's here if you want it. 
But let's take a look at this and see what we have real quick. All right, software management, system monitor, conqueror, web browser. Uh, this is a lighter uh, web uh, version of a web browser compared to um, Firefox. Install or remove software. Self-explanatory here. This is where you can add more software applications to your KDE OpenSUSE 13.1. This is part of YAST, which is uh, stands for yet another system tool. Now it's coming up red here. Disk space is running out. True, because in this virtual machine, I only allotted about nine gigs. Obviously, if if, if you're going to, if you are going to install this, you will have a lot more space. So, I think for now, I will just get out of it out of this. But before I do that, you can search for pieces of software here. For example, if I wanted to install a uh, Banshee music player, and you can just click that click accept. Now I don't have a lot of space here so I think I will just hit cancel abandon that simple. Alright let's move along here recently installed flash player yes you will need that education marble virtual globe bunch of games I don't play a lot of games on PC graphics uh, image editing the GIMP very nice there's some uh, very nice and there's some other stuff here photography uh, pretty much self-explanatory here. Photo viewer, editor, photo management program. Look, looks like you have several choices. Scanning software, another image viewer, KDE image viewer. Again, this is KDE, so you will see a lot of K's in the uh, software applications here. Chat, uh, we have conversation with the K, Copedi, it's the messenger, email, K mail, duh. Web browser, Firefox, Conqueror, feed reader, KTorrent bit torrent client. Audio player Amarok is very nice. Video player, I think you should install VLC on this. K3B disk burner, caffeine media player, don't know too much about that one. KMix sound mixer and your CD player KSCD. Office, the K address book, of course, contact, personal information manager, K organizer, organizer. LibreOffice word processor. Let's see. Let's take a look at the personal organizer. Is that like a calendar thing? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Moving along. Let's see. Let's go to where are we here? We went to Office. Go to System Configuration. App install software. We looked at Desktop. Applet. Kget. Download Manager. File Manager. Dolphin File Manager. The K Info Center, Remote Access, Security, Wallet Management Tool, of course your terminal, help, definitely go there if you need some help. Some other pieces of software here. Let's go to the Yast Control Center. Now this is where you can fine tune, deeply fine tune your desktop. Now, if you are completely new to this, I would suggest you leave this alone for now. Look at the documents and then go back to this. Now you, you can certainly browse through this and not make any changes as you see here. For example, you may want to go to online update. This will search your system for available updates. This should be safe to use. But in terms of tweaking your system, you may want to look at the documentation first. Again, I don't have a lot of disk space here. It has some recommended uh, patches, updates here. Uh, I would normally install this for now. For me, I would just hit uh, cancel. So once again, as far as the YAST control center goes, I would probably look at the documentation first. So far, this is shaping up very stable, very nice. I, I, I kind of love it. Uh, all right. Let's see. Utilities, accessibility, archiving, desktop, Bluetooth looks like uh, K color chooser, K notes, bunch of other stuff here. Again, this thing is loaded. Security, Cleopatra with the K. I'm not sure what that is. And sweeper system cleaner. Uh, this might be something similar to, I believe, bleach bit. Be careful when using something like this. You may clean a little bit too much, and then your system may not work right. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Configure desktop, favorites, 
run command and leave uh, configure desktop alright this is another uh, control uh, setting panel setting here shortcut um, pretty much self-explanatory here again if you were coming from Windows desktop effects uh, somebody said uh, you tried to run this with less than a gig of RAM it didn't work too good yeah something like this I would make sure you have at least a gigabyte of RAM or more if not uh, this may not run the way you want it to well what can I say about this this feels solid polished if you are using Windows now I think you will like this if you do choose to install this make sure you install all the updates take a look at the at the documentation be careful when uh, digging deep into YAST yet another uh, system tool the control center that is a version of a control center uh, and uh, that's basically it once you go through the documentation read it take your time I think you will like this well that's it thank you so much for watching and listening if you have any questions about this or if I missed something please let me know as always thank you for watching and listening and I will catch all of you sometime in the future